A woman ICE officer of Haryana has accused her senior and additional chief secretary level officer of sexual harassment and threatening her. The woman officer took to Facebook to narrate her entire ordeal in which she explains how she was made to sit inside the officer's cabin for several hours and was also threatened for doing her job. She also mentioned how several sexual innuendos allegedly were thrown at her by senior officers. However, the senior IS officer accused has rubbished allegations and claimed that the woman officer had only been advised not to find faults with the files which have got all the necessary clearances from other officials. <laughs> और नेचुरली जो फील्ड से नया कार्य जब इतनी जल्दी जब चंडीगढ़ पहुंचता है तो तो तनाव तो कुछ होता ही है मैं समझता हूँ तनाव हुआ होगा उनको कि वो गांव वाली मीटिंग में ये नहीं आई फिर आज रोहतक में मीटिंग थी तो मैंने रोहतक में भी उन्होंने कहा मुझे छुट्टी चाहिए मैंने कहा छुट्टी अवश्य लीजिए पर अगर आप सुनेंगे ही नहीं फील्ड में लोगों की क्या समस्याएँ हैं तो आप हेडक्वार्टर पर बैठ के निर्णय ठीक नहीं ले पाएंगी मैंने उनको सुझाव दिया था कि आप अवश्य आइए Vishal Monga reporting on this story. Vishal, we just heard Mr. Gulati and he's trying to, of course, dismiss all the charges that have been leveled and coming up with an explanation. But one can see that condescending tone even in his explanation, isn't it? See, as of now, no FIR has been registered. This incident is not new. This has been reported uh, in the PM portal. That is what the acquisition is. Hmm. And also what we can tell you is that uh, the... Officer is ready for the lie detector test, and okay. the women IS officer. If you read the Facebook post, is clearly saying that she's she's been harassed hmm. for trying to expose corruption in the department. She's been writing notes on the files to hmm. which the officer was not happy, and in throughout his uh, post, she's been saying that uh, basically the uh, senior IS officer wanted to destroy her career. And that is why she is writing this complaint. But indeed, uh, the investigation has been ordered, and it is a matter of investigation whether who is telling uh, the truth, the women IS officer or the men IS officer. So That's that right. can be established after a detailed inquiry, and this inquiry is on. This whole uh, thing started when this women IS officer had written her complaint on the Facebook account. And she presented her side of story to the media. But mm -hmm. as of now, the investigation is on. Before the investigation, it will be highly unlikely to really prejudge who is right and who is wrong. Right. The woman in question has, of course, given a detailed account, like you said, uh, Vishal. But, you know, this is a case, again, of a woman standing up against a higher officer, somebody more powerful. And this does amount to misuse of power and uh, sexual harassment at workplace if the charges are proven to be correct, isn't it? If you read the whole Facebook account, it is more of harassment uh, mm. rather than sexual harassment. That is what the senior police officials are saying. And mm. I was talking to one of the senior police officials say that it is a case of harassment at the workplace departmental work, uh, work harassment. She's been saying this is a uh, case of corruption and that is why she's being harassed. While on the other hand, the senior IOS officer has a different version. Now, right. what we spoke to the SP... And the senior police officials, they say that they will react when they get a complaint from the other side. As of now, formal complaint is not being received. But mm. indeed, the minister has intervened and ordered an inquiry into this whole episode. The Women's Commission is looking into it. And after the detailed version of both the sides come out, right. we'll be able to really prejudge who was right and who was wrong. All right. Thanks for joining us, Vishal, with the latest on the story.